Adam Abdeen had already served eight years in the California National Guard when the military offered him a $20,000 bonus to serve a few years longer. They said for my uh, uh, specialty as a uh, transportation officer that there was a bonus if you stay in the National Guard three more years. Uh, you basically they would give you twenty thousand dollars. So I did. I signed the contract. Abdeen used that bonus to help his family survive financially while he was serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. But little did he know that bonus would ultimately cost him his financial security. I got the money in two thousand and seven. By two thousand eleven, how many years is that? That's four years. And when did I retire? In 2015. So that's eight more years or seven more years that I gave the National Guard after I, you know, I got the, the money. In 2011, the California National Guard told Abdeen and thousands of other current and retired soldiers they had to repay some or all of their bonuses. In 2011, they started taking 20% uh, of my pay, which is a, a good chunk of money. But it wasn't just the $20,000 bonus. The military had also paid off his student loan debt, almost $47,000 of debt, and he was told to pay that back too. And why is it okay for them to damage my life and then not be held responsible uh, for that? Between 2011 and 2015, while Abdeen was serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, he paid back $46,000. Then in 2016, the payback controversy got the attention of lawmakers in D.C. Rather than a hero's welcome, they're actually getting um, their government uh, coming after them. Congressman Jeff Denham from Modesto wrote legislation back in 2016 to force the military to honor the contracts with its soldiers. To uh, serve my country, to have my country come back and ask me for money back or try to uh, take my pay or put a lien on a house, I think is not only irresponsible, but uh, un-American. And in the fall of 2016, then Defense Secretary Ash Carter joined in. I've ordered the suspension of all efforts to collect reimbursement from affected California Guard members. Less than a month later, President Obama signed a defense budget which included millions of dollars to repay the troops. Abdeen thought everything would be settled then, but even now, two years later... The collection letter for the remainder. He's been getting collection notices, and he hasn't seen any of the $46,000 he's already paid back. I sent emails, I called, left messages and on, fell on deaf ears. Denham says for thousands of former Guard members caught in the controversy, the ordeal is over. The uh, Department of Defense is telling us now that 99% of them have been resolved, but obviously there's still some cases out there and some people are just finding out about this. A Department of Defense report last July showed more than 17,000 cases were resolved in favor of the soldier. Abdeen believed he was one of those soldiers. And they came to the conclusion that I should receive full relief. That was in May 2017. By the end of last year, I didn't hear anything. He's not alone. You have somebody who went above and beyond the call of duty. He's being punished for doing the right thing. Daniel Willman is a Michigan attorney who has been fighting for soldiers on this issue in federal court. Technically, they're supposed to get it back. They've been promised they would get it back. Congress promised it, and it is promised, promised in that report, and it's been promised in the 2017 uh, defense budget. He says it's unclear how many servicemen and women haven't been repaid or are still facing challenges. Some of these people's cases, yes, they've been lost. And there's, you know, there's nothing being done about it unless the lawsuit goes forward. We reached out to the Defense Department to find out if they know how many cases were still in the works, but they couldn't tell us. We also wanted to know how many soldiers like Abdeen, who started making those repayments, are still owed that money back. Again, no response. They cannot explain my case. If the, you look at, if you read their response to my congressman, we are looking, we're still investigating. What is there to investigate and how many investigations do we have, you know, to get this right?